So basically, the look we're going to be doing today is just a very nice, natural sort of tutorial. Um, I think it's really pretty, really nice, and yeah, I just really, really like it. It's a very, very wearable look um, for everyone. So if you want to know how to get this look, just keep watching and I'll teach you how. First thing that we're going to do, I already have my primer on, and I'm just going to take a spoolie. Whatever kind of spoolie you have, it's going to be fine. And I'm just going to comb my eyebrows in place. Just comb this one a little bit too. Um, and then we're going to be using the Physician's Formula Shimmer Strip in um, Vegas Strip slash light, um, light Bronze. And this is basically um, what I use all the time when I just want to put something on my eyelid but don't really want to make the effort to go all out and put a lot of eyeshadow on, so mostly I would just put a wash of this and that's it, but I decided to maybe give it a little bit of twist for you guys, um, but basically I'm going to use these two colors right here, which you probably can't even tell, but it's just the two colors right here that are kind of faded away, so this is the um, last one, so the you want the fourth and the third one right here, and I'm just going to mix both of them together. So you kind of get a nice shimmery light, but not too light color. And I'm just going to put that all over my eyelid. And then I'm even going to put some of it right here, just to start it off. I just want to move my mirror a little bit. Of course, if you have a big fluffy eyeshadow brush, you can do that. And you kind of just put it on to like basically however much you want to put on. It's um very shimmery to put on. Like it's very shimmery shadow. So if you don't like shimmery shadow, you can probably just use um any matte shadow that you have that's sort of bronzy kind of colors. Like if you have a matte bronzer, that comes with like different colors in there. You may want to use something like that. If you don't have anything like that, then that's fine. Um, use whatever natural color matches your skin tone. And then, after you have that on, I'm going to take the Sally Girl eyeshadow. Um, and it's just a bronzy kind of color. They don't have names, but it's a bronzy color. So any kind of bronzy color that you have that's good to use and I'm going to use a fluffy brush to start it off with um, just so this is going to be basically uh, what I'm going to use as to give it a light wash of color so that when I go to put on my darker color I know um, basically where I want to put it um, you don't have to do this stuff but I just like it and if you use, by using a fluffy brush, it makes it so that this color doesn't come out as dark than if I use something else, like an eyeshadow brush to maybe put that on, or a pencil brush. So basically, it's just going to warm up my eye. And I'm only going to put it to like about here, so I don't want to bring it all the way in. And as I said, normally I would just probably put on that light wash of color that I first started off with and then put some mascara and eyeliner and be done. Um, so keep blending it in. And then I'm also going to take it a little bit and blend it on top just to make it easier to blend when we're done. So like that is fine. You don't want to bring it into the eyelid or anything like that. If you do, that's okay. Um, it doesn't really matter. But I tend to like not want to put it there. <laughs> and then we're also going to take as a darker color. This is just basically um, a few shades. Well, it's actually 
stronger in pigmentation than that one is. Um, so that's why I'm going to use this darker. And it's just like a bronzy, sort of chocolatey brown. And it's the one from the Hip Duo. And this one is in Forgiving. So we're going to use that brown right there. And I'm going to use an angle brush. And I'm going to grab some of that on our angle brush. Of course, tapping off your excess. And then I'm basically going to stick that on the crease. And then sort of swipe it in there like this. Try to keep it in, as I said, like that, not too far in, because that's where I have it over here. Um, of course, if you wanted to, you could bring it in. It's just, you know, whatever you want, you can switch it up, make it your own. But basically, that's where I did it. And then I'm going to take the fluffy brush that I had and sort of blend it out and sort of circular motion. And then I call them, like, windshield wiper motions like that. And then grab a little bit on our fluffy brush, not too much, only if you need to, which I think I do. Like that, and then. You could stop right there if you wanted to, of course. I want to add a little bit of highlight. You can see how much just this one product comes in handy. So if you guys ever want um, to buy something from Transition Formula, especially if you're into natural sort of looks, this is definitely what I would go ahead and purchase because I just love it. It's, and it lasts a really, really long time. I've had this for like about a year now. And I'm just like recently starting to hit pan there. Um, the next one I'm going to use is this sort of, um, well, it's like a yellowy kind of color over here on this strip, which is the very first one. And I'm going to use that as our highlight here. So I'm just going to grab some. I'm just going to move the camera a little bit to make it a little bit more straight. And then I'm just going to basically pop that into the top of our brow bone over here. And then work it down to sort of help make everything blend and look really nice and glowy and just beautiful. And then I'm going to also take some of that and put it right here in the inner corner of our eye and then blend it out. So basically, that's where you're going to get as a look right there. Really nice, really simple. Um, <clears throat> so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to fill in my eyebrows just slightly. You don't have to. If you want to make it even more natural, I probably wouldn't suggest that you fill them in. But I just like it because I think it makes it look a lot neater. Um, and... I am also going to go ahead and put in mascara. Um, I'm going to use a brow, a brown, um, or not brown, black eyeliner pencil, but that's because I always like it. So if you don't want to use black, you can certainly use brown. Uh, but basically, I'm just going to fill in my eyebrows, put in mascara, do some eyeliner just on the waterline, and then I'll come back and tell you guys what we're going to do for blush and lips. Okay?